Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the fast approaching end of support of Windows 10 in October this year, as we have been talking about on the channel, obviously Microsoft wants as many Windows 10 users to move on to Windows 11 as possible. And according to a recent blog post by Microsoft, Microsoft apparently is suggesting that you don't update to Windows 11 through Windows Update from Windows 10 to 11, but you do a clean install. And apparently a couple of reasons why they are suggesting a clean install is because if you update, you can still have traces of malware or potentially unwanted apps moving from Windows 10 to Windows 11 in that update process, where obviously when you do a clean install, that is not the case. It's a clean install, as the name implies. And a reason why Microsoft is suggesting to upgrade to Windows 11 is because according to Microsoft, Windows 11 comes with improved security features, like your smart app control that protects you against unwanted apps. Because obviously, if you are upgrading from 10 to 11 and you are bringing potentially unwanted apps and software along in that update process or even traces of malware, it could be leading to more bloat in the operating system. So they are suggesting a clean install for that very reason. And a security feature that Windows 11 has that Windows 10 does not is if we head over into our Windows security app, app and browser control is the smart app control as mentioned which enhances protection from untrusted apps and a re another reason why microsoft is wanting you to clean install and not update through windows update is because smart app control which is um, quite an important part of the windows security features is only enabled if you do a clean install if you update, like I have, you can see it's turned off and there's no way to turn it on. It's the, the, the on toggle is grayed out. That's why Microsoft is suggesting a clean install because it will turn on enhanced protection from untrusted apps and um, using smart app control by default, where if you update, as you can see, it does not. So, And then obviously Microsoft is using the security features of Windows 11 basically as marketing to try and get Windows 10 users to replace Windows 10 before October and move on to Windows 11. And one of the ways they have done this, obviously, is through this blog post where they are focusing on, obviously, um, one of those reasons would be that you could be adding bloat um, to Windows 11 by upgrading from 10 to 11 using Windows Update. Now, Microsoft has mentioned a couple of pointers to reduce the chance of getting unwanted software where they mention that you should only download apps from trusted sources such as the Microsoft Store and they say you need to be thoughtful about which apps you install and another reason why Microsoft is suggesting downloading apps only from trusted sources is because a lot of users install Windows 11 by downloading ISO files from different websites all over the internet and sometimes those can can be flawed they could have even malicious um, code or malware in the actual ISO and that could lead obviously to a problem when installing Windows 11 so um, obviously I would also suggest only downloading apps from trusted sources and avoiding dodgy websites when you are downloading your apps and then they also mentioned that you need to make sure you're running a regularly updated antivirus product. Obviously, if you are using Windows Security, like I do, the Microsoft Defender, um, that will be updated automatically through the Windows Update process. So, and that's also built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. And then they have mentioned the Smart App Control, which can help um, your device from potentially unwanted apps. And they also recommend, obviously, um, using Microsoft Edge because it does feature the Microsoft Defender smart screen, which will help block potentially unwanted apps. And then, obviously, keeping your device up to date, getting the latest updates through Windows Update. But 
Although that's the case, getting the latest updates, they are recommending that you do a clean install if you move on from Windows 10 to Windows 11 to avoid the issues we have discussed in this video. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.